Hey everybody, welcome back to another gameplay video. This time around we got the SpongeBob SquarePants plug and play. Um, this is going to be kind of a short video. Don't want to get too in depth because this plug and play, this particular plug and play I've got, it's got a little short in it, so and it's missing the audio, can't get the audio out of it, so I'll eventually get a better plug and play that actually works and I'll go into detail like a little spotlight on each game. But from what I played, they look pretty cool. Um, as you can see right here, it's the uh, interesting little joystick. It's got the uh, the nose is the joystick. And you've got one button right here in the top left corner. If you can see that. Uh, on the bottom, you've got the reset button and the uh, power button right there, and then on off switch. On the back, it takes four AA batteries. You know, about the standard normal. And this is made by Jack Pacific. Again, I'm not trying to uh, move this around too much because it does have like a little short in it. So I will do some further on down the line. I'll do like a more in-depth uh, playthrough of each of the mini games on this. But from what I've played so far, it looks pretty awesome. Let's jump right on into these games. Let's hit the fire button to continue. Um, SpongeBob's Bubble Pop. You got Sandy Surf Adventure, Invasion of the Hooks. Patrick and the Maze and the Super Chum Bucket. All right, let's go ahead and start with number one. Like I said, I'll briefly go through these videos just because it's plug and play. I can't get any audio out of it. And, you know, I want to give you an idea of what these are about. My impressions of them, anyway. So let's go ahead and try SpongeBob's Bubble Pop. Um, there you go. You can read the directions right there and a little bit of uh, the items and stuff like that. So. Let's go ahead, and as you can see, it's kind of like an Arkanoid breakout type of clone game. It looks fun. It is really fun. I, I'm a sucker for these type of games. Um, pretty awesome, and I enjoy them a lot. So here we are with the SpongeBob, and it's pretty cool because, like, a uh, little top there, if you can kind of get most of these popped, these bubbles, whatever they are, you can go up to the top there and you and get that, that little thing there, treasure chest or something up there. You got these little items here. All right. All right. That's cool right there. Boom. Yep, here we go. Now, this is one of those games I would like to do a video just on this game alone, which is, is <laughs> fun. Definitely a lot of fun. Okay. There we go. Boom, if I can get that. Nope, not quite. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get that again. Boom. Just trying to get that. Let's go ahead and get these little bubbles. Very cool. Ah, oh, that was so close. It's always tough to get the last one. But anyway, let's see here. Boom. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. There we go. All right, so that was, there he goes up into the uh, stratosphere. But anyway, there we go. That is that level. Let's go ahead and hit the reset button and boom, we get out of that. Let's try Sandy Surf Adventure. This is kind of pretty cool too. You can see the uh, read that right there. All right, what you can see right here. Let me show you this. It's pretty neat. It's kind of like a little side-scrolling shooting game. So that is pretty cool. I like that about this game. Again, this is another game I would just kind of sit down and do just a playthrough of this game alone, you know. But. Um, Kind of a simple little side scroller, which I like it. <laughs> Again, apologize for the uh, game's audio not being in. When I purchased this, I didn't realize. Sometimes, sometimes you run that risk when you buy used, when you get stuff, whether at Goodwill or whatever. You know, you know, you don't know what kind of condition it is in, even though sometimes they say it's tested and working. In this case, it was, but just the audio was not. So. So technically it works, you can actually play it, but, oh, and just got hit by those stars. 
Very cool. All right, this is one of those games where you have to start over. Well, you know, you can't pick up right where you left off exactly. All right. Well, I got the high score of that. As you can see, it, it's fun. I mean, I'm, I like side-scrolling shooting games as well. I think you can kind of get rapid fire at some point on this. Again, it's only got this one button, so it's not too complicated of a of a game. Oh, that's cool! Triple fire there. Although it's so awkward to play this with uh, my hand on the side there. Excuse the signal. Hand on the side, and then the joystick. So, all right, that was Sandy's um, surf adventure. That was pretty cool. Now let's try Invasion of the Hooks. This is kind of a, looks like a little simple game as well. Let's go ahead and jump right in there. Hooks away. So uh, just kind of get the hooks there and just try to or throw hamburgers or whatever he's got. I think it's hamburgers. Just kind of make sure these hooks don't get your your buddies oh shoot there went Patrick bye Patrick see you later oh well. let's try that again really quick this one's kind of a little bit slower just Throwing the hamburgers is a little slow to me. It's like when you release the button, that's when the hamburger will. Oh, let's get Patrick. All right, Squidward. There you go. I can see this be a little bit of a challenge here. But yeah. I guess that takes care of that level. All right, cool, awesome stage complete. As you can see, this will get more challenging. Yeah. But again, this is one of those where it's like I'm holding down the button, then I let go of the button, and then the hamburger goes up. I don't know if that's an item. I'm okay. But you get the gist of this. Again, I, I'm going depth in a future episode with this. But uh, so far, so good. I really like these plug and plays. I, it really does have a 16-bit Super Nintendo feel to it. But there we go. All right, let's go ahead and jump out of that. Next game up is Patrick and the Maze. All right, uh, there you can read that. And here I am, just going through the button. I guess I capture stuff here, possibly. Let's see here, yep. Very cool overhead view, kind of like, uh, I don't know, it actually kind of, Reminds me of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I don't know why, just the graphics of it. It's very cool. Just kind of reminiscent of that to me. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Very 16-bit um, throwback feel to it. That's what I like about this one. Uh, darn it, I, ha I hate that this uh, plug and play's got a little short in it, or otherwise I'd be playing the heck out of these games right now. But, all right, cool. All right, cool. All right, musical clams. See, I, I need the audio for this to be able to, maybe not. Maybe it's a visual type of game. 
Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. That. And now the Super Chum Bucket. Let's try this game. You can see the uh, wording there. This is pretty cool as well. It's kind of like getting to the top and avoiding the obstacles. Almost like a Donkey Kong type of game. I really like this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get another one of these plug and plays that's uh, actually working, not, not not has a shortage in it, because I definitely want to play these games. And it looks, it plays good, it looks good, the graphics are awesome. So I definitely. I need to wait till they. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, I could. Uh, I could. I could play this a lot. I mean, this is fun. I, it, it makes a difference when it's a good playing plug and play. Good controls. The joystick's actually pretty good. No complaints there. It's very responsive. Ah, snuck up on me there. The button sticks a little bit, but that's not because of the plug and play. It's probably because it's been well used and played. But here we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead. You see when he starts to move, there we go. So now I can get on across there. And there you go. So cool. Again, fun little game. I wonder how many levels this has because yeah, it is. This controls really good. <laughs> oh no, but I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's see here. Perfect. All right, there we go. I think I'll just wrap it up there. There you have it. That's the quick mini games on this SpongeBob SquarePants. I think it was released in 2003. Um, fun, fun games. I really enjoyed that. It's a throwback to the 16-bit era. Um, again, if this thing didn't have a short in it and had audio, I would definitely win it a little bit more depth. But it kind of give you an idea um, of what these games are and, you know, how they play. So, again, I, for future episodes, I'd like to do some more in-depth of each game because they all play pretty good. And uh, this is one of the better plug-and-plays. So, if you find it out there, go for it. It's fun. So, take care, everybody, and I will see you again next time.